Unlocking the mystery of skin and blister, a deep dive into English slang. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're diving into the colorful and often puzzling world of English slang. Specifically, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase skin and blister. It's a quirky part of the English language that gives it its charm and complexity. So, let's get started and discover what this phrase truly means and how you can use it in everyday conversation. To fully appreciate skin and blister, we must first explore its origins. This phrase is a prime example of Cockney rhyming slang, a type of English slang originating from London. In Cockney rhyming slang, words are replaced with a phrase that rhymes with them, and then, often, the rhyming part is dropped. Skin and blister rhymes with sister, making it a playful and indirect way to refer to one's sister. Cockney rhyming slang is not just about rhyming but about the rich cultural tapestry it weaves. It reflects the creativity and humor of the English-speaking world, particularly in London. When using skin and blister to refer to a sister, it showcases the playful side of language and how it can be used to express affection, camaraderie, or even just for the sake of humor. Now that you know skin and blister means sister, how do you use it in conversation? It's quite simple and can add a layer of fun to your chats. For example, instead of saying, I'm going shopping with my sister, you could say, I'm going shopping with my skin and blister. It's a great way to sound more like a native and add some personality to your conversations. While skin and blister is a fun addition to your vocabulary, it's important to remember the role of context. This phrase is best used in informal settings among friends or in communities familiar with Cockney rhyming slang. It's also a fantastic way to showcase your knowledge of English slang in a playful manner. However, in more formal contexts, it's best to stick to the standard sister to avoid confusion. And there you have it, the intriguing world of skin and blister unraveled. We hope you enjoyed this journey into English slang and that it adds a new dimension to your language learning experience. Remember, language is not just about communication but also about culture, humor, and creativity. So, don't hesitate to sprinkle your conversations with phrases like skin and blister and explore the rich diversity of English slang. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video. Happy learning!